Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer episode. In this video we take a look at the King George VI Memorial Chapel. The chapel was commissioned by Queen Elizabeth II in 1962. The architects of the chapel were commissioned to design it to accommodate the remains of three monarchs and their consorts. Her private secretary wrote to the Dean of Windsor, Robin Woods, in December 1962 with a request that a specific resting place be found for her father, King George VI. Following his funeral service at St George's Chapel, George's remains had been transferred to the Royal Vault beneath the chapel. George's death was unexpected and no specific resting place had been designated for him. A request was not acted upon for a further five years, as Elizabeth wanted her mother, George's widow, Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, to avoid the painful experience of burying her husband for a second time. She also disliked the idea of a marble chest tomb with life-sized effigies that were typically commissioned for the remains of monarchs and preferred simple slabs inlaid into the floor. There was no space for another vault to be constructed in St George's Chapel and so a solution was found with the construction of an additional Chantry Chapel to the exterior of St George's Chapel. This was the first addition to St George's Chapel since the completion of the Chantry on the south side of the chapel for Oliver King, the private secretary to Henry VII in 1504. The second plan submitted was approved for the design of the chapel. It was proposed by the architect George Pace and involved the construction of a Chantry Chapel between the Rutland Chapel and the North Choir of St George's Chapel. Pace's design is 18 feet high 10 feet in width and a depth of 14 feet. It was completed in 1969. The chapel stands between two of the external buttresses of the north wall of the choir and is made from stone from Clipsham in Northamptonshire. An altar in the chapel has a bronze relief portrait of George by Sir William Reed Dick, a replica of the portrait of George which hangs in the church of St Mary Magdalene on the royal estate of Sandringham in Norfolk. The completed chapel was described by the Dean of Windsor, Robin Woods, as continuing the perpendicular Gothic designs of the chapel itself, but in a 20th century idiom. George's remains were transferred to the newly constructed memorial chapel, named in George's honour on the 24th of March 1969. The chapel was built at a cost of £25,000, equivalent to £437,000 in 2021 entirely funded by Elizabeth herself. It was dedicated on the 31st of March 1969 in a ceremony attended by George's widow Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother and his daughter Queen Elizabeth II with her husband Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh and their eldest children Prince Charles, Prince of Wales and Princess Anne. The former King Edward VIII was not invited to the ceremony. George's burial place is marked in the chapel by a stone of black Belgian marble inscribed George VI. The chapel is marked by gates of wrought iron inscribed with the words, I said to the man who stood at the gate of the year, give me life that I may tread safely into the unknown. The ashes of George's younger daughter, Princess Margaret, Countess of Snowdon, were placed in the royal vault of St George's Chapel on the 15th of February 2002. Margaret was the first member of the royal family to be cremated since Princess Louise, Duchess of Argyle, in 1939. She was cremated to ensure that her remains would be accommodated in the small chapel. George's widow, Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, was interred in the chapel on the 9th of April 2002, following her funeral at Westminster Abbey. Margaret's ashes were placed in her parents' tomb at the same time. The late Queen Elizabeth II was buried in the chapel on the 19th of September 2022, following her state funeral at Westminster Abbey. Her consort, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, was interred in the chapel on the same date. Philip died on the 9th of April 2021 and his remains have been held in the Royal Vault of St George's Chapel since his funeral, eight days after his death. Following her state funeral, the late Queen Elizabeth II was taken to St George's Chapel, Windsor and there following a committal service where the orb, scepter and imperial state crown were removed from her coffin and placed on the high altar in a symbolic act of relinquishing her duty as sovereign 
and passing them on to the next sovereign, King Charles III. She was then lowered on the catafalque into the royal vault below. Later that same day, Queen Elizabeth's coffin, along with that of her husband, the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip, was brought back up and a small private family ceremony held where both coffins were interred into the George VI Memorial Chapel vault. Once lowered into the vault, the coffins will pass along a narrow corridor into the main vault where they will be positioned for their final resting places. St George's Chapel is accessible by members of the public who visit Windsor Castle when not in formal use. Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. So from me, goodbye.